Bible says he humbled himself unto death. And you see, the only reason why he could die is because that was a place God is in, because God is not dead. So for the first time, he's completely separate from the Father in obedience. He's there. And he cries, he screams. You hear, when you hear the Savior crying on the cross, baby Jesus, Jesus cried, you know, Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabachthani. In that moment, some people look at you, they're like, uh, I thought he said he's the Savior. You should just get down. You should call angels. You should save himself. But here you are crying, bleeding. You don't know this experience. Your life has never been like this. And there are moments in your life where you are going through a thing you've never been through before. And there he's crying. Distance from God, but humbled still. He didn't say, right now I'm going to not misbehave. He left me, you know. He didn't look at the thief at the cross and insult him. You know, he was still composed. So much so, still praying even. The Bible says he was praying for them. Father, forgive them for they don't know what they do. He's still praying. Still in humility. Still in humility. And God, like Pastor Gibson, was waiting for day one, for day two. Because there was an agreement that by day three, you must come up. I can't stay without you. Am I wrong to somebody? The Bible says day three, God highly. Tell me about God highly. God highly. Say God highly. God highly. This is our year of upliftment. You see, God, God is looking to highly. Tell me about highly. highly. This is not choo choo. This is highly. Highly. Tell me about highly. highly. This is highly. This, see, see, there are days, my God, there are days. There are days when you are making 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars a day. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And then there become days where you are making as much as 30,000 dollars a day. Highly. 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 So me from three figures, from three figures. to six figures. figures. And it works like magic. Tell me it works like magic. Wherefore God also are highly. Tell me God is highly. God is highly. I'm gonna exalt you. Say God is gonna highly exalt you. This year. This year. year of upliftment. Year of upliftment. And so suddenly, the same guy who was dead, who couldn't move, they poked him with a spear. He couldn't even respond. Blood and water gushed out. And they're like, he's dead. If you watch the movie, you see the Roman this Roman centurion frustrated, took off his helmet, sat down and tired. Can't believe it. Why would he die? All of us hoped in him. Why would you die? Everybody's going back home. Peter back to his wife. This one, everybody, all the disciples, everybody going back home. But that moment everybody has given up. Reaches a point, he says, I'm gonna highly exalt you. Tell me about highly exaltation. High exaltation. Say, high exaltation is on my mind. My God. You realize when God lifts him up, when God brings him back to life, he doesn't come alone. Announced with an earthquake. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Announced with an earthquake. Stones rolled off. All those angels suddenly showed up. Anyway, it's only a matter of time. Listen to me. I want to talk to somebody in this place. Your miracle is only time dependent. 
Just make sure you are doing your part. It's only time. There is, there is no way. I'll say it again. There is no way. There are some of you in this place. With the, level, with the attitude that you are putting up. With the things of God and the things of life. With your readiness and willingness to learn. There is no way you can't be great. There's no way. There's no way. Amen. There's no way. Hallelujah. You know, I was telling some of you the other time, I said, I said, go and open an account. Tell them, go and open an account. Account. Open in dollar. Open in euro. Open in grievance. Amen. Open in pounds. Go and open an account. Have faith in God. Any place you see that they can open an account, go and open God has highly exalted him. God lifted him so high. As he's coming out, the Bible says, when he came out, even the dead, people who were dead a long time, they resurrected. They saw them in the streets. Amen. Can I preach to somebody? All the things and the years that the canker worm and the palma worm had eaten, God is able to restore to you. I might not know somebody. All the things that seemed that they were dead, and all the blessings that you have missed, all of them can come. All of them can come back. Hallelujah. All of them can come back. You think those dudes, all of them were dead and gone for, but when Jesus showed up and when the time was right, the Bible says, he came and with him came several hosts. Angels appearing to people, rejoicing and shouting and screaming, and suddenly the signs were everywhere. Something big has just happened. And God is like, the reason I'm doing this is because you humbled yourself. And now because you humbled yourself, watch what I'm going to do. He says, and gave him a name which is above every name. Hallelujah. Remember where he started from? He was the one who says, if you humble yourself as this child, you shall be the greatest. Jesus became the greatest by humbling himself as that little child before the father. He heard God say this and he did exactly that. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell anybody, do exactly as you're told. Exactly. Say, do exactly as you're told. Exactly. Say, you are not a fool for doing the right thing. You're not a fool. Hallelujah. You're not a fool for doing the right thing. You're not a fool for doing the right thing. You want to matter in life, learn to do the right thing. Hallelujah. You're not a fool. You're not a fool. Amen. I don't feel bad that I don't drink. Amen. Amen. I don't feel bad that I don't drink. Amen. Amen. I say this humbly to the glory of God and also humbly, historically and medically speaking. Medically speaking, you drinking, keep drinking. You need a miracle for your liver to stay right. And give it time. 20 years, 25 years, 30 years. Give it time. You'll be in a hospital. Spending money. All the money you labored for all your life back in the hospital. Buying drugs. Why? You couldn't listen. Everyone came to you. God sent preachers, you won't listen. God sent doctors, you won't listen. What do you want God to do? Send the angel of death. <laughs> Amen. Maybe you listen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't feel bad I don't smoke. I don't feel bad I don't smoke. Amen. Amen. And all those years Jesus was humble, people thought he was foolish. He was different, and everyone looked down on him. Don't feel bad for doing the right thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't feel bad. Ten. 
that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. So God put him, God so uplifted him, he became the final authority. God put him in a place beyond and above all. You want to be the greatest, you want to be high and above, do things the right way. Do things what? Right. Do things the right way. Do things the right way. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Everything. God so highly exalted him, he gave him a name that was above. Transgenerational, transplanetal, trans everything you can think of. Hallelujah. Verse 11. And that every tongue should confess that this Christ is boss. Amen. Amen. You look at him, you know, this guy is boss. It's in a different dimension. To the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed. You see that the word is in obedience. As you have always obeyed. Let me say this to some of you, um, just quickly. For some of you who have made mistakes or may be making mistakes. You see, the thing about it is, the human mind, okay, the human brain, naturally cannot tell the difference between good and bad. The human mind is programmed, or brain is programmed to keep doing anything that pleases it. Again and again, and again and again and again. The human mind and brain has to be trained. Whatever you train it, if you... <laughs> ah, how many of you have eaten Ukrainian soup before? How many have eaten Ukrainian bread? Have you seen how hard some of those breads are? Amen. And many of them tasteless. I mean, call Ukrainian bread. Are you not surprised? I don't know about you if you are surprised because I think deep. How the market is still moving. <laughs> how some people enjoy it. Amen. Because of how the brain interprets it. From childhood, you were exposed, exposed to baton. <laughs> hard, like this. A little child, I see some of the Ukrainian kids eating hard baton. As an adult like me can't eat it. <laughs> but the brain is used to interpreting it that way. So much so now, if you give the person even your kind of bread, light bread. You don't understand, what is this? The same way to you, that bread, hard bread is strange. Is the same way to him that light bread is strange. Please listen to me. The brain is programmed by you, by exposure. So if your life, if you are into the wrong, listen to me, you can reprogram yourself by consistent exposure. I've thought on that before, but I'll repeat it again. Neuroplasticity. Whatever you do consistently, so, if you get used to doing right consistently, you, you say, train up a child in the way he should go when he's old, he will not what? That's it. So, the child gets used to, if you train him in the way of baton, when he's old, he can depart from it. Anywhere he is, he's looking for baton. <laughs> Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, Train yourself to begin to obey. It's going to look difficult at the beginning, but soon your brain is recalibrating. It's going to soon get used to and receive pleasures from doing the right thing. It's going to start feeling exactly the same way as it felt when it was doing bad or evil. It's going to start feeling the same way when it begins to do good. Because that's how God has created it. 
Hallelujah. That's why I say strong food is for the mature who by reason of use, use, have trained their minds, their senses to descend between good and evil. Hallelujah. He said, not as in my presence only. I want you to take note of this one. As Paul begins to admonish his church, he says, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not only when I'm around. People, there are people who show up a different attitude. When pastor is around, when they are in church, from when he's in. But now much more in my absence, even when I'm not around, I want you to work out your own salvation. With what? Fear and trembling. Fear and trembling. Say, brother, it's tough, but we got this. Amen. Hallelujah. Tap your neighbor, say it's tough. But we got this. Say we got this. Say we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Amen. Say, I got this. Say, I'm humble. Say, I'm smart. Say, I'm wise. Say, I hear God. And I don't joke with his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The wise preacher said when he was dating his wife, now wife, every time she would visit him, They'll open all the doors and all the windows. All doors and all windows. So much so, when he would do that, the wife, got, the now wife, got used to, whenever she comes visiting him, before, she even, before he even goes to open all doors and windows, she herself will open it for him. <laughs> Don't tempt yourself. Now let me say this, especially those who you know you only live in now. It means you are not seeing what is about to come in one hour's time. So for you, all you want to do is visit. Because you only live in now. For me, before you visit, I've thought of the next three days. So, but you only live in now. Chat in the now. Do everything in the now until you are in soup. I'm going to go somebody. If you know, you can't see far. Listen to my simple English. Relationship seminar is next month. <laughs> February. Especially as February is coming now. February 14th. <laughs> the spirit is already around. Spirit. That spirit. Are you seeing what he's saying? He says, now much more work out your own salvation with fear and what? Fear and trembling. Fear and trembling. Fear and trembling. Question is, why would the man decide to keep his doors open? Some prefer to lock the door. We kept his door open. And today as he goes around the world, he's talking, telling his story. He's telling his story. He's telling his story. And everyone thinks, oh, because he was wise. Tell him, well, walk out your salvation with fear and trembling. And trembling. I'm saying this early now because this is, we are still early, this is the first month. I know some people whose last year was horrible because of one, two mistakes. It's made one mistake at one point or the other, the whole year is just messed up, you're waiting for a year to end. You're just waiting for the year to end for a new chapter. 
is best. Some things are best avoided. So any about some things are best avoided. Are best avoided. You know you have feelings for him or he has for you. You have no business visiting him. Are you listening to me? one of the daughters who when she moved into the hostel one day she was coming to see me and she was shocked I stopped her at the door she couldn't understand it I didn't let her in she was angry send me messages said this said that I just laughed <laughs> I said I said what I did to you is not even anything close to what I did to the person that I love I remember the day she was <laughs> visiting me one time like that. Even this was even way, way, way before even there was any feeling. I stopped her at the door. So stop, 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 stop. Stop there. <laughs> she was shocked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Say more in February. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let's be on our feet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Tell him what be humble. No. Say don't 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 um, be proud. Don't be proud. Submit yourself to the word. Yeah.